Get out of the car now. No! Get your f***ing hands off me. We're Get your f***ing hands off me! I have to go to work! You guys are gonna cause me to lose my job! Please let me go to work! There's no one inside! Please let me go home! Please! I have to go to work! I have to go to work, sir! What the fuck are you doing? Construction is the probable cause. Alright, now we go. Get out of the car now. No! Get your f***ing hands off me. We're Get your f***ing hands off me! Cool. Hey, if you keep this is Sean Malarkey, a 46-year-old woman arrested for attempting to hit her husband with a car while her children were in the back seat. But when cops attempt to make contact with her, things go ugly right from the jump. Hey, step out of the car right now. Yep, step out. Excuse me. Excuse me. No, excuse me. Get out of the car now. No. I will tase you if you don't get out of the car. Get your hand off of me. Stop. I told you you're under arrest. Get out of the car. It's immediately clear upon contact that Malarkey's behavior is aggressive and defensive. Despite still having her kids in the back seat, she continues to act erratically and aggressively. But this was just the start of this insane encounter. I just sent a message and I am. Excuse me. Excuse me. Get out of the car right now. No. Did somebody say that you could come into our house? It's common practice for cops to enter homes without a warrant if there's a threat of serious harm to those inside or if the cops are in hot pursuit. Given that she had just tried to hit her husband with a car moments earlier, the cops are well within their legal authority to enter Malarkey's house. You don't stop tugging. I'm going to tase you if you don't get after a brief struggle, Sean is arrested and placed in handcuffs. But the encounter won't get easier from here. My attorney has filed a motion to quash this. You hit us, you do anything stupid towards us, and we're any charges done. If you hit us, or anything, let's go. You've already hit me. Now you got a whole show for your neighbors here. I'm not getting in that car until I call my attorney. That's I'm calling my no, I'm calling my attorney. It's not gonna happen. No, I'm calling my attorney. I'm gonna tell you right thing now. My children are home alone. I'm giving you an order. It's in the car. We will my get your children father here. are home alone. My children are home okay. alone. We will and take I'm care calling... of your children. No, you're not taking care of shit. No, you are a mother. You are a shitty human being. That's messed up. Once outside, the cops detect an odor of alcohol on her, potentially explaining her strange behavior. I smell you an odor the... of alcohol on your breath. No, that's my piss. That's I... your piss? I'm pissing on you. Okay. Hey, I didn't tell you to get out of the car. Stop. She suddenly gets out of the vehicle in a bizarre manner, ignoring commands to get back inside. Do you have your phone on you? Don't touch me. Do you have your phone on you? Get your f***ing hands off me. Where's your phone? Do not yeah, get off, your... Or, uh, do not touch me. F***ing hands off me. You do get your f***ing hands off me. Cool. Hey, if you keep resisting, I'm going to charge you with that. If you, you know what? I'm going to charge you with putting your f***ing dirty ass hands on Stop me. Stop moving. Let me take off your watch. You. Right, the next time, up. no, the next time you f***ing touch me. Hey, get in the car. Sit in the car. No, get your f***ing hands off. Sean, he's car. not even touching you. Get in the oh, car. But he I'm did. not touching you. No, do you know what he's done? <laughs> Stop, Stop kicking us. I'm going to kick you right in the f***ing that's mean. Don't that do that. After repeated belligerent behavior and an attempt to, to assault an officer, she is pulled back into the vehicle. However, she would then make a stark threat that she would soon regret. You are dead. What's that? You are getting sued. No, no. What did you say before that? You said I am dead. What do you mean by that? You are. Elaborate on it if you mean it. You. You're getting sued. At the station, she claimed to have trouble exiting the vehicle, even though she had no issues earlier. The arrest becomes even more challenging for the cops as they had to physically carry her inside for booking. Malarkey is charged with felony aggravated DUI, her third offense with a child passenger, aggravated assault of an officer, and resisting and obstructing justice. This is nothing compared to what unfolded in the case of Kayla, a Wisconsin woman who made a seemingly urgent 911 call to scare her boyfriend. Cops were then promptly dispatched to her location through a ping off her cell phone. Police department! We're not leaving. Come to the door. Oh. What's going on? I have to 
to go to work. Hey, can you just worry no, I have to go to work. Okay. I'm not willing to be late for work. Okay, what's going on? I have to nothing. Nothing. I have to go to work. I don't even know why you guys are here. Get away. Me, please. She claims ignorance about why the police are there, possibly hoping they'd leave, but these officers are persistent. Did you call them? No, I didn't. I don't know who called you. Okay, I did what's, call what's you. Your, what's your phone? Start with that. Pay close attention to this cop. Once verifying her phone number, this cop decides to try and call her to see if she's actually telling the truth. I have to get ready, sir. I have to go to work. We got her. I have to we go to work. A, we got a call. Hello. Hi. Oh. Okay, so that's why, the number that called nine one one. I actually have, I actually have two different numbers. On that's the, phone. the number that called nine one one. Oh, you're yeah, right. So. It was. I have to go to work. You guys are gonna cause me to lose my job. Please let me go to work. There's no one inside. Please let me go home. Please, I have to go to work. I have to go to work, sir. The fuck are you doing? Oh my god, hey, stop! Get the fuck away from me! Hey, hey, get, 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 get the fuck away from me! Get on the floor. Oh my god! Oh my god! By screaming so obnoxiously with no regard to those living around her, this draws her boyfriend into the situation. He's quickly tased after aggressively intervening, with immediately claiming he did nothing wrong. I guess the apple doesn't really fall far from the tree. Why did you lose my apartment? No, you are you are Fuck young. you! Fuck you! He just lost his job. I can't afford to lose my job. Please, I'm not gonna run. Why would you guys hate me? I wasn't running. He was called 911 because he was because he was being a douchebag. I was just trying to threaten him with the fucking cops. Okay, that's inappropriate. That first of all, right? I understand that, but okay. I wasn't. He wasn't doing anything. I wasn't doing anything. Okay. Once in cuffs, Kayla admits that she called the cops to scare her boyfriend after an argument. False 911 calls can easily land you 90 days in jail with a $1,000 fine. Sir, I have put to. Put your legs inside. I'm the vehicle. trying to talk to you like a normal person. Put your person. legs inside the vehicle. Please talk to no, me. No, put your legs inside the vehicle right now. I, I have to work at noon, guys. I can't afford to lose my job. Please. Put your oh, leg in. Put your leg in. Put your leg in. Or you will go to jail. Please. Put your leg in the car. Ah. Kayla clearly doesn't realize that every escalation of this encounter was all of her own doing. She tries to point fingers towards the cops while deflecting self-accountability. As such, the encounter only continues to escalate. Yeah, Sir, I can't afford to lose my job. I'm sorry about that. So do I have to go down to the station? You're going to come down to the station right now, yeah. Can, please, can you bring me back now? I'm trying to be back before work, please. No. I didn't do anything besides cook bacon and sausages for us. What part of cooking has you stepping through a door with your fist raise at police. I need you I need you to stay calm and cooperative at this point, all right? I'm going to have Officer Fox unhandcuff you so you can tend to your baby. I'm not yet. Please, I have to go to work. Okay, what is your name? I have to go to work. I'm asking you what your name is. Why? So I can address you. Shakira. Is that your name? Shakira. You can call me Shakira. Shakira what? Shakira Flabbergasted. Shakira Flabbergasted. Shakira flabbergasted, later revealed to be Kayla, has once again made the situation worse by giving false information to police, a crime punishable by, again, up to 90 days in jail and a $1,000 fine. Bring me to the hospital. For what? Bring me to the hospital. For what? Bring me to the hospital. I want to kill myself and I feel like I want to kill myself. Bring me to the hospital. Okay. Bring me to the hospital. I want to kill myself. I'm having thoughts of suicide. Bring me to the hospital. Bring me to the hospital. I'm having thoughts of suicide. A possible explanation for Kayla threatening self-harm could likely be to escape any potential charges that the officers have on her. Sir, why am I getting arrested? Because you created a giant disturbance here. I didn't do anything. I didn't know that I was resisting. I was just trying to see if he was okay. Sir, please don't do this. I only called because I was trying to scare him into not yelling at me anymore. I was wrong. That was wrong. I 
was wrong. That was illegal. I'm sorry. Okay. Take a couple breaths and we'll talk when we're at the PD. Just breathe for a couple minutes. That's all I'm asking you to do. Upon arrival at the police department, she's booked without further incident. At the time of recording, her charges have not been publicized. If you thought this woman was crazy, that's because you haven't met this couple. An entitled couple who thought they owned a public street. On November 2nd, 2021, neighbors called police for vehicles parked on a public roadway. I need two 1070s here. Howdy. How do? I don't know if there's someone in the house or not but they won't come to the door, so this might get them out. They're both illegally parked and a hazard, so I got the BMW done right now, so you can take that one first. Miss? Hi. You have some association with this car? Yeah, it's my boyfriend's car. Um, can, you prove, can you prove ownership? Yeah, I have a title. Um, the problem was it wasn't running. That's why it's been parked right there, but okay, well, I tried to push it into the driveway. We've been here for a half an hour trying to reach someone. So now they have it, and now you have right to make here. a way. Is there any way you, he, could just... you don't own it? He doesn't own it. Yes, we both own it. Okay. It is our car. Is the title in your name? It is in his name. And that does us no good. Um, He lives here. Excuse me. Please, can you please make an exception? I've it been is, here for is... a half an hour. I banged on your door. Got nothing. I didn't hear it. Okay. So he can, can go show not... proof and he can pick it up. You know anyone owns this car? That's next. That okay. my boyfriend's no. car. That, I, I wasn't that one's going that. next. I wasn't aware that you were. So this right. one's already done. Can you please make an exception and... Help me push it into the driveway. So that no, because you don't even own it, miss. Yes, I, yes, we do. No, you said some yes. other person who's not here owns it. Okay. And they didn't register it. So they can go it, like, to the, the tow yard, side. show proof, and pick it up. She asks for an exception when she had the officer wait over 30 minutes for her to come outside. But now her boyfriend conveniently calls her and will begin to encounter his extreme entitlement. Hello? Jester, they're towing the B7 and they're about to tow Mitch's car, so you guys should get back here. The B the B7 is is still right here, but the police officer is not letting me take possession of our car. Why? I don't know. Why why aren't you letting me put this car into my driveway? Because you don't own it, miss. He owns it and he lives here. Okay, well. If he were here we maybe both own it. We if, both he, if someone it. else were here, maybe I'd talk to them. Can you hear that? Okay, so I have to come talk to him. I guess so. Um, they're towing, they're taking the B7 right now. I guess it's loaded up on the thing. He won't let me push it into our driveway. This guy claims the officer has an ego trip because they believe they're entitled to park on a public roadway. But couldn't they have just parked in their empty driveway? But now this woman will attempt to block the tow trucks from taking their cars away. Can I please have your business card? Sure. I need you to move out of the way. Nope, not moving. If you don't move, I'll arrest you, miss. They're going to be here in five minutes. Move or you'll be arrested, miss. The tow company can wait five minutes. You're not the owner. I'm going to count to three, They're miss. going to be here in five minutes. You're going to be arrested if you don't move. They said, let me talk to my boyfriend real quick. Move away or you'll be arrested. You can't arrest me when they're going to be here in five you minutes. You want to watch me? Are you, you an please, adult? Can you you want to watch? Can you please stop? want to watch? No, no. Please? I don't listen to you, miss. Please stop your power Last chance. Last please chance. Please stop your power You're move out of the way? Please. It's not your car. You're in the way. Can you please listen to me? No, you need to listen. Are you going to move okay. or not? I will move. Turn around. Just stay there. Place your hands on your back. Just stay there. Just stay there. No, okay. they're going to. He's saying he's going to arrest me. Turn around. Place your hands on your back. You. We're going to sue the shit out of him. It's fine. Her boyfriend actively tells his girlfriend to stay and get arrested, claiming he'll sue the cops. Luckily for you guys, we get to meet him in person soon. Okay. Are you, are you going to move or not? You, you, are you refusing to move, miss? Can You're going to be arrested. Can you? Turn around and place your hands behind you your back please, if you're not going to move. Can you please have Turn around and place your hands behind your back if you're not going to move. Listen, dude, can you please... Not dude. Can you please just... Turn around and place your hands behind your back or move. The, the owner of this car okay, no. is going to be okay. here in like two Third time, minutes. third time. Turn around and place your hands behind Trust your back or you're going to be arrested. Yes or no? You can't arrest me. Yes, I can. Turn this. around. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you don't have probable cause. Go on to start. You do not have probable cause. You're go we're going I'm trying to not to. I'm trying not to, but I can. Obstruction is the probable cause. All right. There we go. She initially moved out of the way, but soon darts back once the tow trucks begin to move. She's then arrested for obstruction and placed in a patrol vehicle. And now we meet the entitled man we heard this woman speaking to on the phone. Why the car's being Why the I'm not I'm not doing this. We've had zero warning, zero anything. You're arresting my girlfriend for park park. What the f 
is going on? I just got here. Okay, so it's plain. Less for it. Started out, you pulling up like this and being hot. I was over doing a car. the speed limit. I'm not doing anything. I'm not doing anything hotter than you guys are doing right now. I just got here. So sir. what's going on on your side? I show up to all my cars being towed away okay. and like someone being arrested. Are they in the roadway? No, they were parked here. Sir, can you can you help me understand what's going on here? Well, what? now that the, if this is your vehicle. Yes. And you can it's prove not. ownership, now you'll have to pay the release fee. No, why? I didn't do anything. Why is it getting towed? It's illegally parked at a roadway hazard. Who do I need to talk to then? Well, don't walk up on him like that. I'll walk up on No, oh. you hey, won't. Hey, hey, yes, hey, I will. What the f is going on? Wait, wait, wait. You want to tow my shit? Explain what's going on. I see this. Well, now you can go to the tow lot and make arrangements to pick up your car. You guys are messing with the wrong f***ing people. You are going to be sued. Really? I make more than you make in a third I, I have no. To feel a sense of superiority, he spouts that he makes more money than the cops. And it's interesting how he seems to care much more that his cars are being towed than his girlfriend being arrested. No okay, one's answering any questions. Okay, what do you guys want to do here? Are you, are you done bullying I us? I am talking with my partner, figuring what's okay, going on Okay, you're parking my front yard, so what do you want to do? Not in your front yard. What is the street? You just took my car for no reason. This is not helping you guys. I don't. Shut the f up, please. Your phone and eyeglasses. Do you want to come with you or do you want to go with Chester? I guess she wants you to have her phone and whatever's on the top there. Couldn't even wait two minutes for me to come back. I get back and then you get, and then I get ignored. I'd be jealous too if I made my yearly salary. And you're just gonna ignore me, huh? You made a statement. Do you have a question? I have a million questions. You guys won't answer them. You answer them with the vaguest, dumbest, like, I don't know what's going on, and that's because you guys won't explain it to me. I'm trying to be reasonable. The car was towed. We were called here oh, for a reason. Here. What's there the reason? Oh, I wasn't dispatched. I came as a backup officer. Backup for what? Because my partner made an arrest. I'm a backup officer. That's why I'm here. You just got here, so you don't know. Please step back. Yeah, I gotta find my eyeglasses. Drop them? I may have when she was twisting around. I don't see them down here. They would have been right on top of the grass and not if they got buried. Or... The officer mistakenly left his glasses on the couple's car, so now the boyfriend has possession of them. And suffice to say, he won't be giving them back easily. Off the property. Off the property. Yes, he, where do you, do you think he's standing? Nope. I'm about to about there. I'm good. Are those her glasses or mine? They were on the car. They're mine now. Well, they look a lot like mine. They were on the car. So now we're good. I'm not doing it. Why are you running? Hey, get off my property. Wrong. Off my property. Can we do I think he has my eyeglasses no, and you just threw them in there. Glasses. You gave them to me. They were sitting. Off my property. Off they were sitting property. on the car. Yes, on my car and you told me to get them. Are, are, yes, those, on my car. are those my officer's glasses or not? Do you want me to charge with theft, Chester? Okay, fine. You want your glasses? Yeah, after you threw them, if they're damaged, you're going to get charged with criminal mission. Calm down. Where do they even go? You threw them in here somewhere. No, no, they're brand new. Good Thank to go. Oh, sir, Nick, yours? Those are mine. The woman was charged with obstruction without violence, and after many months, the state did not prosecute this woman. The man faced no charges.